Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now a couple of days ago I made a tutorial on how to create off canvas menus using Elementor Pro and some of you asked if I can make a tutorial on how to create an off canvas menu without Elementor Pro and in this tutorial I'm basically going to show you how to create an off canvas menu without Elementor Pro or an off canvas menu for free in Elementor. Now the kind of off canvas menu we are going to create first will look like this another would look like this coming from the right hand side another would look like this coming from the top and another would look like this coming from the bottom now to get started one you have to be logged into your Elementor website and you are going to go to plugins then we'll add a new plugin you will search for HT Mega add-on for Elementor so once it shows up here, you simply install and activate. Once you have it activated, it will show up right here in the dashboard sidebar menu. By simply clicking over there, it will show you all these features or widgets that you can use in your Elementor website. Now, once you have HT Mega add-ons enabled, activated in your Elementor website, you simply now open up a page, any page with Elementor, and I've already opened up my page right here and I already created these sample buttons here so we created an off canvas menu that looks like this and we created another one coming from the bottom and we created another one coming from the left hand side and we created another one coming from the right hand side now I'm going to show you exactly how I did this first of all I'm going to create a new section I'm going to come to the widgets area and I will simply come over down here to the HT Mega add-on section. You see this? Then I'll look up for something called Canvas or Off Canvas. If you can't locate it easily, you simply can just search here. Off Canvas, drag your button right here. Now it shows up. Once it shows up, you can simply click here on the edit icon so that you have the options to edit your button or off canvas widget. To start off, I'm going to first change the button name, demo, and I can choose an icon from the library, maybe this one, just a random icon. And then I'm going to go to style, then I'll come to the button section and I can change the background of our button. I'll use a gradient. So in this case, I had used this other. Maybe I can simply just change to maybe a blue like this. And another one here like that. Okay, now we have our button. Now the next thing what we are going to do is very simple, come back here to the content and the off canvas button or off canvas widget using HT Mega gives you a couple of options. We can select our source of the data that we are going to display in our off canvas menu. We can use either a sidebar or an Elementor template. Now I'm going to first choose the Elementor template and when I choose the Elementor template it will now give me an option right here to select a template that I want to use in my off canvas. I have already these templates showing up right here and uh, in case you don't know how to create templates using Elementor I have a tutorial on that and I'm going to link it up right here in the card or in the description box below so that you can easily go and learn how to make free templates using Elementor even when you have the free version of Elementor. I will simply select over here the header template that I already created. This is a template that is having the navigation and pages and I want to show that canvas or that template to come from the top okay now I'm going to simply update now this means that if I click over here our canvas or off canvas will come right from the top and it will display our template that we created using Elementor now when I click over here this is what you see okay now let me close it over here now since I've already finished updating I have already my preview page here and you see our button has already displayed with all the other buttons we had earlier created now when i click on this button boom it shows up our 
header that we already created. Now we can do now the same thing for all the other sections, the left, the right and the bottom. So I'll simply duplicate this button and I'm going to come here to settings and I'll come to the source template. I'm going to change it to footer and right here I want to show this off canvas coming from the bottom. When I simply hit update, it will update now on my preview page. Then when I click over here, it is going to show a template that I've already created for the footer. So this information can be a footer, can be a notification, it can be anything. So I just put up these templates just to show you what you can actually achieve with our off canvas menu from HT Mega Add-ons. So that is it. We can now do the same thing for the other section. Let me say duplicate and we are going to show an off canvas from the left hand side. So I'm going to now simply choose another section here so i'll say the faq section and we want to display that from the left so this is going to display our elementor template from the left hand side of our website so when i click over here to our preview page it must have updated now we have this and boom see now it's showing up from the left hand side now, the other option that we can use to display off canvas menus using HT Mega add-ons is when we are displaying the source content from a widget that we already have in our website without using the Elementor template as the main source. So here are the source, I can select a sidebar and right here I have to select a sidebar that is already available in my Elementor website. Now, when I come over here to settings, come to appearance widgets then here you'll see that i have a number of side main sidebar header sidebar and all these other footer sections now you can choose what you want to display in any of these sidebars because here ht mega gives us a selection to select which kind of sidebars we want to show so here we have the main sidebar header you know footer bar and all these others so by simply coming over here and we select a widget that we want to display in any of those sidebars, for example, a calendar widget, we can simply drag it over here and automatically we will display a calendar on our website. But that's not what I want. In this case, we already have a widget that is made by Elementor. It's called Elementor Library. And once we drag over this widget right here in our sidebar that we want to display on our website, we can now also select from the already available templates that we created using Elementor. And now these are the templates right here. So in this case, I'm going to select our FAQ section to display from our right hand side. Now when I say save, then I come over here to our button. Then we are going to select our header section or our header sidebar, which is this one here. This is the header sidebar. And in that header sidebar, we have selected that the FAQ template should show up. Okay, now I have it selected and we want it to come right from the right hand side. Now I'll simply hit update. Once it updates, then you are going to see that it is affected this side. So when I click over here, boom, we have now showed our off canvas widget using a sidebar from the native WordPress but also we are using a template that is linked from our Elementor template library. And the other thing is that you can position these elements anywhere within your Elementor website. For example, I can simply copy this and then I come over to our services section and I can simply say, I can duplicate this section or I can duplicate this column, come over here, then I can paste our button delete this and then i can align this can make this to go just this far and i can align our services on the left and then i can even make changes to our button style single color and then i will clear the color or i can simply make it white or whatever color that you want. So in this case, I can make it something like this. Okay. 
now that means that if someone clicks on this button or on this widget one they are going to display a template from the header that is going to run from the top as they are off canvas but in this case maybe you have allocated a menu a sidebar menu in your off canvas so that when someone clicks over here it is the one to display up let me assume that is your faq template okay and it's going to run from the right then when i simply update I come to my services page where I have it enabled and someone clicks over here. Boom! It shows up our menu or our FAQ section. Now this can even be in your header in case you have Elementor Pro on your website whereby you can easily create headers and footers using the theme builder. So anyway, that was a quick tutorial on how you can get started creating off canvas menus for free in Elementor. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it brought you a ton of value. In case you have any comments, questions, let me know in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time.